Hi! In this video, we will install TrendNet's TV NVR 104K and touch on a few of its key management features. To start the installation, you will want the NVR in its desired location. So, let's see what's in the box. We have the NVR and its power adapter, two TrendNet TV IP 320Pi cameras, related mounting hardware, a mouse, an HDMI cable, a CD, a quick install guide, and three network cables. The two long cables are for the cameras and the short one is to connect the NVR to your network. The HDMI display you see here is required but sold separately. So let's go ahead and plug everything in first, then power up the NVR. For the initial setup, we recommend keeping the cameras next to the NVR. Once the setup is complete, they can be installed in their final locations. A setup wizard will appear and prompt you to change the username and password and set the time and date. Let's go do that. Now you see the video of both the TV IP 320Pi cameras. You can install up to four cameras on this NVR. All TrendNet cameras can be manually installed and the following cameras are auto-recognized when plugged in. Now I'll show you a few shortcuts available from this screen. To switch the current quad view to one camera only, right-click and select Single Screen and choose the desired camera. By default, it will automatically cycle to the next camera every five seconds in single screen view. To stop auto cycle, right click, then select stop auto switch. To change back to quad screen, right click again, select multi screen, and 2x2. To start recording for all cameras, right click and select start recording. Then select either continuous recording or motion detection recording. If you selected motion detection recording, you'll need to perform one more setup step for each camera. We will go over that later in the video. Another handy shortcut is playback. If an event just happened and you want to review recorded video, left click on the desired camera. Then select the green playback button to playback for the last five minutes of recorded video. For full playback controls, you can jump to it by right clicking on the desired camera and selecting playback. Before getting into this function, let's go to the main menu. Right click on the screen and select menu. Here we see eight management icons, playback, export, scheduled recording, hard disk drive, Camera, Configuration, Maintenance, and Shutdown. Let's begin with playback since we were just there. Starting in the top right corner, you can search recorded video from all cameras at once or any combination of cameras you choose. We will select all cameras, and now the camera dates located here, which are blue, indicate there was recorded video on that day. Double click a day and the NVR will jump to the first recording on that particular day. The bottom bar shows the full 24 hour period for the day and the blue line indicates when the recording took place. If you want to search specifically for motion, keep in mind motion detection has to be fully set up or else it will not be registered here. To search motion, we go to the top left corner and select event. We can search any number of cameras simultaneously and we select the time range and hit search. A list of available recordings will be displayed on the right. D1 refers to video from the camera plugged into channel 1. D2 is channel 2 and so on. Click on the play button to review the specific video. Now we also talked about the need to complete motion detection setup from that main menu. To do that, let's go to camera and select motion. Camera 1 is selected by default. We can pick any camera from the drop down menu and create a motion field of any shape. To remove motion fields, click on an area with motion already defined and you can see it was removed. A timestamp overlay will not trigger motion recording, so you can create motion fields over it. The second very important step is to move sensitivity from off and slide it to the right. If we don't do this, motion sensitivity will be off even though we set up the motion fields. Let's click apply and now motion detection recording will work for this camera. In the camera management section, you can also create on-screen text displays, privacy masks, tamper detection, and manage video loss. We reviewed shortcuts for setting up camera recording. Now let's take a look at how to create a hybrid recording schedule. Click on the Schedule Recording icon, select the camera, then Enable Schedule. Then select either Continuous Motion or None and apply the desired type of recording to the weekly schedule. When you are done, hit Apply. The TV NVR 104K is packed full of features. We went over the basics to get you started. As for the remaining menu options, the Export icon is used to export video to a flash drive. You can use the Hard Drive tab to allocate specific amounts of hard drive space to each camera. The Configuration icon is used to set up your network connection, change live view settings, and add different users. The Maintenance tab is used to update firmware and import-export camera settings. 
And finally, the shutdown button is to either shut down or power cycle the TV NVR 104K. It's time for me to shut down as well. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about TrendNet's TV NVR 104K.